Hey Facebook, happy Monday. Alright, I'm just giving you guys a little bit of a pre-warning here. I'm about to go on a bit of a rant because you, I guess you could say I'm frustrated, not angry, just frustrated and it's something that I am clearly and obviously really passionate about. So, just to put it bluntly, I am so sick and tired of seeing people so unhappy and complaining, complaining about their life, complaining about their jobs, getting to Sunday and complaining that it's Monday, getting to Thursday and Friday and saying that they can't wish for the weekend, they can't wait for the weekend. Honest to God, I am just so sick of hearing people complaining and I'll tell you why. I'm saying this because I'm coming from a place of being someone that was you, okay? Let me just tell you a little bit of a story. Hey, Sandy, how are you going? Thanks for joining me. Let me just tell you a bit of a story, okay? Let me just take you back to four years ago. My shit was broken, okay? I was unhappy. I didn't like my job. I didn't like myself. I didn't like my relationships. I didn't really like much about my life. I was miserable. And everyone around me kept telling me, that I was miserable. Everyone around me kept telling me that I needed to make a change and I didn't. I continued to suffer. I chose to keep suffering and that was my choice until, you know what, I got sick and tired of suffering. I got sick and tired of being miserable and disliking my job and living for the weekend and dreading Monday. I got to a point where I was tired of it. I decided that I didn't want to suffer anymore because I didn't like anything about my life. But you know what, guys? I had to make that decision. I had to decide that I wasn't going to continue living the way I was living anymore. And I just, I find it so hard to have compassion for people that continue to complain about their jobs, continue to complain about their life, but don't do anything about it. I understand that people have to be ready to make a change. Some people need to make a change, but they don't. And the only reason you don't is because you haven't suffered enough yet. You haven't suffered enough yet. And at what point are you going to decide and understand that you are deserving of a good life, that you are deserving of living a life of passion and alignment and actually doing work that inspires you and makes you happy. At what point are you going to stop saying, I hate Mondays? At what point are you going to stop living for the weekend and living for the holidays, right? There's one thing that Gary Vaynerchuk says all the time in one of his videos, and I freaking love it. He says, if you're living for the weekend and you're living for holidays, then your shit's broken. And he could not be more true. I really need you guys to ask yourself and have a good look at yourself here, all right? Because I speak to people, I speak to I speak to clients all the time in this situation. And as much as I have empathy, as much as I have compassion, and as much as I care so deeply, in fact that's why I think I get so worked up about it, because I care so deeply. Hi Samar, thanks for joining me. Let me know where you guys are from. Send me some loves if you're enjoying this um Live stream, send me some hearts. I love the hearts. So I think I get so fired up about it, as I said, because I'm so passionate about it. Because I was you. My shit was broken. I was miserable. But you know what? I was miserable because I chose to stay there. I chose to continue suffering until I decided that enough was enough. And you have to ask yourself, at what point are you at right now? What stage are you at right now? Are you wanting to keep suffering? Is that how you want your life to look? Do you want to continue getting up every morning and dreading what you're doing or dreading your job, dreading your relationships? It's definitely hard, but some people are suffering so much, but they have no choice. Sandy, let me tell you this, right? Suffering is a choice. Okay, suffering is absolutely a choice. Everyone has stuff going on. 
everyone has stuff that they're dealing with in their life. But once you make a decision, once you decide that enough is enough, once you decide that you know you are deserving of a life that makes you happy and you are no longer going to continue suffering, that's when things are going to change for you. People that feel like they don't have a choice is coming from their own limited thinking and their own limited mind frame and mindset, okay? And like I said, this is coming from someone who suffered for a very long time. And looking back, it was because I chose to suffer. I chose to stay there. And this is exactly why I am running my Deep Seated Why workshop this, this Thursday. So if you aren't enrolled for this, I'm telling you, this is going to be a game changer. I'm going to put the link in the comments below once this live stream's finished. I'm telling you guys, the reason I'm doing this workshop is because I'm so passionate about helping all of you find that fire inside of you. I am so passionate about helping all of you wake up every freaking day with so much excitement and so much passion that you don't even want to go to bed at night because I can tell you that is exactly how I feel every day and it did not just happen. I didn't just wake up one morning and it was changed. I had to make a decision that I was going to stop suffering and I had to make a decision that my life was going to be better, that I was going to find my purpose work, that I was going to follow that and pursue that, that I was going to be of service to people in the world and stop focusing on my shit and how broken I was, I decided that I was here to make an impact and that's what I had to do and I was not taking responsibility. For as long as you're suffering, you are not taking responsibility for who you are and the work that you are meant to do in this world. Guys, if you're on the live stream, say hi. Let me know your thoughts below. Send me some love if you're here. So, like I said, this is not me being angry. I guess it is in a little way, a little bit frustrated, but I'm just trying to be real, okay? Because I just get so frustrated when I hear people complaining about their lives. And then I'm like, okay, well, are you willing to do anything about it? If you're not happy, are you willing to change your situation? Are you willing to do something different in order to have something different? Because if you're not, I call bullshit. I call that you aren't finished suffering. I call that you want to continue suffering because you haven't suffered enough yet. Because you're actually not doing anything to change your situation. One of the best ways to bust yourself out of a funk or to start really enjoying and living a life that you deserve is to find your deep-seated why. And that's exactly what my workshop is going to be about this Thursday. So just to give you a bit of an overview of what I'm going to be doing. Everyone has a why, okay? Everyone has a why. But most people only tap in on their surface whys. Most people only tap into the surface of why they're doing what they're doing. And then they wonder why they sabotage themselves. They wonder why they sabotage their goals or their dreams. They wonder why they're on track for a week or two weeks and then they fall off track. And there's only one answer to that, guys. It's because you have not connected with your deep-seated why. And when we go through you know, two years, three years, four years, or even more years of suffering, we then disconnect from ourselves. We lose connection and we don't even know what lights us up anymore. We don't even know what makes us happy. And then we start saying we feel lost. We start saying we feel confused, that we don't know what our purpose is. And we try looking for our purpose and we are looking externally. We look externally to find what's going to make us happy. And we never ever find it because what's going to make you happy comes from within. And that's what I call your deep-seated why. Your deep-seated why is your purpose work. 
your deep-seated why is that driving force behind you every single day. That like I said, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it doesn't matter what day of the week it is, you are inspired. You feel alive. You have passion in your soul and you know what you're here for. You know what you are here to do. You don't need to be pushed. You don't need to be motivated. Once you find your deep-seated why, you don't need external motivation. The motivation is already there every single morning. And every day feels like a party because you are doing what lights you up. So I need you to ask yourselves right now, do you 100% love your job? I mean every single bit of it. Do you 100% love all of your relationships, friendships and partners? Are you 100% happy with your health at the moment and the state of your health? Because if you are not, you are not living in alignment. You are not living according to your deep seated why and that needs to change. And unless you are prepared to change that, then stop complaining about where you are at. And guys, that's not me being harsh. That's just me being real. No, not even. So you're not 100% happy with your work, your relationships, your health. Is that what you're saying, Sandy? Because I'm here to give you some truth, some hard truth, but also some love. I do it with love because I care about you all so deeply that I can promise you my job in this world is to help you connect with yourself and to connect with what makes you happy and makes you feel inspired. That is what I live for. That is my deep-seated why. Part of my deep-seated why anyway. I want to see you all feel the way I feel every morning when I get up. It's just... I can't even explain it, guys. Once you've connected with it, it's not really something you can explain. It just feels like you're living. It feels like you're living. And now looking back, I could not even comprehend living a different way because it just does not make sense to me. It does not make sense to allow myself to continue suffering. I have empathy. I have compassion for you because like I said I was there if any of you are currently feeling that way but you are in control of that which is why my workshop this Thursday is an absolute non-negotiable if you are currently feeling any of these things that I have just said so if this is something that you would like to do if you would like to gain clarity purpose meaning direction excitement and you want to know what is actually going to drive you every day and you want to actually achieve every single goal that you set out to achieve everything you put your mind to you know how many times have you looked at people and thought how do they do that how do people just achieve everything they set out to achieve how do people stay so motivated every single day what is it because I don't feel like that. I don't feel that excited about every day. I don't feel that motivated to achieve my goals, even though I think I want them. Guys, I'm telling you, this is the reason why. Because you haven't connected with your deep-seated why. And my workshop on Thursday is all about that. And I can 100% promise you that if you commit to this workshop and you commit to showing up for you and finding out what your why is, you will walk out, walk out of this workshop completely transformed. You will feel completely different and you will understand why you are here. It's like someone's hit turbo and you just feel this force behind you and nothing and no one can stop that. So if you would like to even slightly feel that way, or even slightly feel a little bit different in regards to what you're doing currently, and you are tired of suffering, you are tired of feeling like crap, 
Sandy, I'm going to um, put the link below for you. So I'm hopping off the live stream in a minute. I'm going to put it below. Get yourself signed up. You are going to love it. I can promise you this. It's going to open you up. It's going to make you feel discomfort in ways because I'm going to help you. I'm going to be holding your hand the whole way, but I'm going to help you connect with yourself again. And I'm going to help you connect with why you are actually here. Why do you get up and do what you do every day? That's what I'm going to help you connect with. And once you find that, once you connect with that and you have that flame inside of you, you will be forever changed. Trust me, this is coming from someone who decided that I had been, I was done suffering. I've been suffering too much and I decided to make a change. Thanks, Sandy. I cannot wait to have you in this program. You're going to love it. So guys, if you would like to do this program, I'm going to be leaving the link above and in the comments as well. You've only got three more days to get yourself on board. It is going to be a game changer. Believe me, trust me when I say this, okay? Have an awesome day and I will speak to you all really soon. Bye.